on shining lights. There's been a sharp rise in the number of type 2 diabetes cases in London, up 75% in the last decade. Left untreated, the condition can be life-threatening, and the number of cases in the capital is growing quicker than anywhere else in the country. Some communities are more at risk than others, and now the London Assembly wants to rethink the way the condition is tackled, as Rags Martel explains. Robert Carew Hunt is in hospital, waiting to have another toe removed. I had two uh, toes amputated on the right foot in 2002 and 2008, and now I'm losing the uh, little toe on the left foot. Robert has the more severe consequences of type 2 diabetes, but he's not alone. New figures show 500,000 people now have the condition in London. That's up 75% in the last decade, but it's thought 140,000 have not yet been diagnosed with the disease. Diabetes is the biggest cause of blindness, is the biggest cause of, of kidney failure in this country, is a risk factor in um, amputations, in heart disease, it's a big, big risk factor. This morning a mobile diabetes unit was in Trafalgar Square to show how easy a diagnosis can be made. Well, this is a very quick way to be tested for diabetes. It's called the finger prick test. You get measured, you get weighed, and then you get a needle inserted at the end of your fingertip. So here we go. A result comes in a matter of minutes. So what's, what's that show? So the sugar level is 5.4, which is normal. Diabetes has been described as a ticking time bomb for people of Afro-Caribbean descent who are three times more likely to develop the condition. So many people are walking around not knowing that they've got it. And it's a silent killer. It really is a silent killer. And I know a lot of people think, oh, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't affect me. But it could be affecting you. So it's just a good idea to check with it. What do you want Londoners to do? I want Londoners to take control of their own health and recognise that type 2 diabetes is a very severe problem in London. The route to good health are very simple ones. We've got to address the problems of obesity, again, which hits London pretty badly. We've got to ensure people have healthy lifestyles, lifestyles and are just aware of their own health and can start making informed choices. The number of diabetes cases in London is growing quicker than anywhere else in the country. And the advice from Robert is simple. Get a test. The sooner diabetes is caught, start feeling better. You can uh, have uh, a reasonably normal life if you follow the rules. Robert will have his third toe amputated next week, but he still hopes to walk out of hospital. Rex Martel, ITV News.